Hey, Phil from 3DP UK here, and today we are going to be setting up the uh, Minion uh, Beagle camera, and I'm going to be putting it onto the AnyCubit Cobra Max. Um, I've seen quite a few videos, been out for quite a while now. Um, I'll drop some links in the description as to where you can pick these up, but I've also noticed that you can now pick this up from Amazon. Um, I order directly from the company itself, and um, I, I purchased the 32 gigabyte version. I think that's probably really all you need. Um, took about two weeks to turn up, um, but that was direct from China. But like I say, it's available from Amazon now, so I'll drop a link in the description and you'll be able to purchase one yourself. Um, extremely easy to set up from what I can see. And that's what we're gonna do today. So um, just do a quick un unboxing and then we'll head straight into the um, setting up of it to the Enicubit Cobra Max. Um, so I, I like to do time lapse. Um, I've been using my um, phone camera, so it's not quite got the um, the effect that I was looking for. So um, I quite like to show uh, pr full prints once I've completed it on the Cobra Max and uh, show um, my viewers and my followers um, what the capabilities of this printer and the actual Minion itself. Um, as you can see, it's called the Beagle Camera. It's I'm, I'm guessing they've kind of gone from the fact that it kind of looks like a dog. I'm not sure if they meant that, but by the looks of it, that's probably where they were aiming. Um, quite a good selling technique. Um, yeah, so right, let's head into the unboxing. So it's got an outer sleeve, so you just take off that. Um, once again, just a um, some detailing of the actual Beagle camera. Um, quite a sturdy box considering, um, which is quite good. Um, no one wants to receive their items in poor manner. Um, so the first thing you'll find is a simple instruction manual, a guide manual. Um, having a quick flick through, so it just gives you what you will receive in your box itself. Uh, so the Beagle camera, power plug, depending on what country you're from. A Type-C cable, um, 1.5 meters. That's for the power, so um, that's to actually power the uh, Beagle camera itself. You have a USB micro B cable, one meter, that's to connect to the printer, but from what I can see, um, you can actually use your um, printer supplied cable that comes with the printer itself, um, but it's good that they supply that. Um, micro SD card, so um, once again, it depends on which one you selected. For me, I chose the 32 gigabyte. Um, so that's the one that I should have received. We'll double check that as we go through the video. Um, a reset needle, so a bit, bit like a mobile phone really. So when you take out your SD card or your um, SIM card, <coughs> this is simply just to reset the Beagle camera back to factory standard. And quite obviously, um, the quick guide manual that you should be receiving. So let's go to the next page. So the specifications. So uh, part number is Beagle, night version. Yes, it can do night vision. Um, some other viewers and, uh, sorry, some other YouTubers have put up some videos on this and uh, said that black and white seems to be quite good for nighttime vision. But because it's in my studio, I tend to have the light on when I'm printing, especially if I'm doing any time lapsing. Uh, the frame rate, it goes up to 25 FPS. Um, up, upload printable files, yes, G-code files, you can do that. So for a cure, I'm going to be using. Uh, compatible 3D printers, so most Marlin uh, firmwares. Um, I've quickly checked up to see whether the Anycubic Cobra Max is um, available for this particular um, Beagle camera, and it is, which I'll show a bit later on in the video. Um, once again, micro SD card. Uh, connect to the printer USB cable. Uh, video compression is um, H2.264 uh, and H265. Uh, the resolution is 1080p, which is good. Uh, auto time lapse video, yes. Temperature monitor, so yes for hot and hot end and hot bed. So it will pick up once connected to your printer. It'll pick up those two. Um, it supports 2.4 gigahertz. Now, <coughs> most um, modern Wi-Fi routers tend to be like five gigahertz, which I find seems to be a common problem with s sort of like security cameras and Wi-Fi cameras and, and uh, time-lapse cam cameras like this, that they only pick up 2.4 gigahertz. Now, 
Fortunately, on my particular Wi-Fi router, which is a BT Wi-Fi router, I can actually activate the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Um, but I know that some can't, and um, you really want to check that before ordering your camera because if you was to use a 2.4 gigahertz capable camera on a 5 gigahertz, it wouldn't pick it up. It would just keep rejecting. So definitely check that before you purchase this. Um, it's plug-in, so literally plug and play. And some just brief camera introduction. So um, the top of the camera, you've got the IR sensor, um, the actual microphone in the middle. Um, number two, sorry, I'll start again. Number two is the lens in the middle. And uh, number three is a microphone, so it just picks up. I'm not sure why you would need that for time-lapsing. Um, tends to be just video itself. And then the camera base itself. I know you can pick up um, some stands and uh, camera holders on finger bass. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to try and see if there's something that I can do that I don't need to print off anything, but it depends on what angle. I'll probably go in from uh, from in from the left, um, and it'll just pick up um, the time lapse. So yeah. So next page um, once again goes into some details. So. Number one, you've got your Wi-Fi indicator. So solid green means that you're Wi-Fi connected and flashing green means that you're Wi-Fi disconnected. I'm not sure why they didn't go for red and green. So red sort of says that there's an issue, but um, yeah, so definitely check that. Um, printer indicator, ah, right, okay. So printer indicator, solid red, printer is connected. Flashing red, printer is disconnected. So, okay, that kind of makes sense now why they've gone for the green on that side and red. But I still personally, for ease of use, would say green on the Wi Fi indicator and then red meaning that it's not connected, and then green for the printer connected and flashing red for not connected. That would have probably been a little bit more easier to point out. Um, that tends to be pretty standard. Um, number three is your speaker. Um, and USB socket. So this is what you would connect to the printer itself. Um, over to the left hand side of, or the right hand side of it, you've got a Type-C power socket, number one, uh, to keep it powered. Plug and hold for five seconds and you will hear a voice of successfully resetting the camera if you was to choose to reset it back to factory standard. And then below that is the micro SD card slot. Um, what I'll do there is I'll probably stop there in terms of that's what the um, the features of it is because um, on going on from that is we're going into more of the connection and the that download of the app so we want to take that as we're sort of going along through the process so I don't want to skip too far we'll go back to the instructions manual a bit later um, yep so inside the box I see we have some really cool stickers. Um, whether you want to put that on anything is totally your choice, but I think that's quite nice to give that. Um, certainly good for branding. As you will see, it's well packaged, so very well uh, protected. You'll find that it's um, supplied as flat, so it's quite simple. Just gently lift it up, and then you have your stand already installed. So as you can see, uh, You've got the um, main camera speaker to the right and the IR and over here. So no, the rest of it is just sort of for features. Once again, kind of think they were aiming for the Beagle Dog. Um, USB, so that would be the one that you will connect up to the computer itself. And the USB-C here will be to power the actual Beagle camera. And I can see here, we have an SD card slot, micro. Let's just click that and make sure that what they've supplied is what I requested. Quite fiddly, actually. Um, yep, 32 gigabytes, so that's good. I um, can put that back in there. Like I say, that's a bit fiddly there. I don't know why they didn't do it sit on the back end. Um, so, yep, shows you uh, Wi Fi green, Wi Fi, oh, sorry, printer red. So once again, as through the instructions, it says Wi-Fi flat green will be it's connected and flashing means not connected and printer if it's flat red, um, then that's connected. And if it's flashing, it's not connected. Um, yeah, so I think it looks fairly solid. Um, looking at other people's videos, um, they do 
take off this back panel here with these four screws um, and you can adjust the um, the actual uh, focus on the camera itself not quite sure why you would need to remove it all and why they didn't take that into consideration just a simple little um, dial on the side would have um, been appropriate if that's what you have to do um, we're going to check that as we get to that stage and um, so we'll put that to the side there so in the box you will get some accessories um, you get a standard USB plug which um, I would say that you should use and um, the reason being is I find that um, USB connections into USB ports can just pop out but with this this should keep it solid you want power to it otherwise you lose the actual um, time lapse so underneath here let's just take this out you have um, the USB-C as I said that powers the actual camera itself and plugs into this plug here and then you have the um, reset key as I mentioned earlier so just put that there and you have the actual printer connection now on um, the actual printer that I'm using um, it doesn't actually use this style of um, connection so um, I I don't have that to hand at the moment to show you um, but it, I can assure you that this plugs into the back which is your USB into here like so um, and then that would connect into your printer I think some printers use this but mine uses more of the um, I'm not sure what type of um, connection but it's just down here um, let me just see if I can find a connection that I use okay so this is what I use for the Anycubic Cobra Mac so I'm assuming that I would need to use this cable um, I don't see it as a problem it's whatever suits your printer itself so yeah um, I'm sure that won't pose too much of a problem but we will soon find out it's all test and go I, I've seen most videos and that not many people have had issues and I think that they have actually used this um, on the Cobra Mac so Yep, so that's the unboxing part, and then we'll head into the installation of the actual uh, Beagle camera itself. Okay, so we're at the next stage of the video, so what you want to do now, um, obviously we want to connect up the, um, the camera itself. I'm not going to connect to the printer right now, um, I'm just going to set up the actual app on my phone um, and stuff like that. So we're going to connect up the Beagle camera so um, quite simply just um, take off this cable here with the velcro um, we're going to plug it in I'm gonna for demonstration purposes I'm gonna plug it directly into my USB um, chart cables on the floor which would be easier and then I don't need to disconnect any cameras that I've got going at the moment um, right so at the back so you, as I said USB-C um, the power cable actually goes in from the side so quite simply just put it in like so and what that should do is start powering up um, let's stop this okay so um, what what you'll want to do is download the app um, as I say you can the scan okay so you heard that so basically the camera has just told me to say that it's ready for Wi-Fi connection which is basically requesting me to connect it to my server hub so over here is a Wi-Fi disk so I should be able to pick up from that um, back to the instructions manual what you want to do is you can either scan the QR code or quite simply through App Store uh, Google Play or APK download uh, just search out Beagle Print um, I've already done this so I'm going to head over to that app now on my mobile phone. Um, I have actually, to be fair, already connected this. So you just click on um, Beagle Print and it comes up with a minion. Um, so I'm just going to quickly put in my password. Um, so I've done that and then just pressed go. So what is asking me now? is to add a device and the device is going to be my Beagle camera so just click add device um, and what we're going to do is 
we're going to QR scan configuration, which is at the top here. Um, QR scan configuration only works for the latest camera firmware version V.1.1.1. Please upgrade the camera firmware first. If not, please select the AV configuration. I understand. I'm hoping that we are good to go. Now, um, it says on here, power up the camera, plug the Type-C slot into as below, which we've already done. Um, wait for a minute and you will hear a voice camera is ready for Wi-Fi configuration. As we said earlier, we heard that voice. So it's given you two options. Uh, yes, I heard the voice or no, I didn't hear the voice. Well, in my case, I did hear the voice. I'm hoping it's that voice. <laughs> okay, so while using the app, um, I'm not gonna put any um, access to location. I don't think that that's very appropriate, especially with um, adding things online and stuff. Uh, you want to stay anonymous as, as much as possible. Um, so I'm gonna click don't allow. Um, so what is asking now is uh, select 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. If your router is five gigahertz, please set it to 2.4. Um, I mentioned that earlier on in the video. Um, you want to do you want to check that your Wi-Fi router can do 2.4. All I did was access it through the admin page on my Wi-Fi router. It gives you all the details on the back. And um, what that does, it, it, you can open up that link. So uh, 2.4 gigahertz is open for me to connect the camera to. Now I'm gonna add my um, Wi-Fi name. So what it's asking me to do, let me just, so um, with the instructions manual, so we are on this page now. Um, so with the permission, the app will automatically get Wi-Fi name of your connecting router. Please enter the exact password of the Wi-Fi. So um, what we're gonna do now is search for that on my phone. Okay, so let's see if this works. Um, okay, so it's asking for my location, not to be able to obtain the Wi-Fi name, please give the location to the app, otherwise the app won't identify the Wi-Fi. Okay, not sure why that does that, not too sure on that one. So, okay, so um, in contrary to what I mentioned earlier on in the video, um, you do have to allow uh, Wi-Fi um, precise location. I'm not too keen on that, to be fair. Um, especially if you're doing videos and pictures, um, you can sort of geotag that. Uh, might be worth looking into that, I'm not sure. Um, but to be able to do that, you click get Wi-Fi name, then it searches out my Wi-Fi router, which is here. So I'm gonna add my password now, and uh, like yourself, you'll be adding your password. Um, I'm going to do that under the cloak of darkness, so no one knows my password. Okay, bear with me one second. Okay, so I've entered my password and we're gonna click next. So looking at the paperwork, so it's generated a GR code for me, which is specific for my camera. So what it's asking me to do now is please keep the QR code towards the camera and keep a distance of about 20 centimeters. So what you wanna do is turn your camera around or your phone, sorry, and face it and you hear the bleep. So I heard a beep prompt sound. Yes, I did. Not very loud though, but still heard it. Um, so it's connecting to the camera now. Successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's telling me it's connected to the Wi-Fi, um, which is good. So it should be connecting now and probably pick up a signal of my hand. Takes a bit of a while while it's setting up. So, okay, so it looks as if, um, obviously I haven't connected to, to the printer, which is why it's saying printer disconnected. You just tap on the screen and then you should get live footage. So as you can see, that's me with my mobile phone filming this video. Hi there, everyone. Um, yeah, so, this is basically all set up now in terms of Wi-Fi connection, but what we wanna do now is connect up to the printer itself. So we're gonna head back to the uh, Anycubic Cobra Max and connect up the printer and uh, continue with the video. 
Okay, we're back over to the printer now. So we're gonna connect up to the printer itself. As I said earlier, I'm gonna to have to use my USB um, connection cable. The one that come in the box itself um, doesn't fit into my printer, but that's not an issue. Um, so what it's asking me to do is um, connect up the USB-C, oh, sorry, USB um, at the back of the actual camera itself, which we're gonna do. Um, just push that in like so. Um, makes it kind of cumbersome now because obviously the weight of this, but we can sort out all the wiring a bit later. We'll just set up the actual machine itself. Um, so at the front, you will see um, the connection for the Cobra Max is this type. Um, we're just gonna plug that in like so. <clears throat> I'm gonna move the camera over. For now, I'm just gonna rest it on the bed. It's not an issue. Um, obviously, I'll have it in a, a specific location as we um, continue with the uh, video. Um, so, at the moment, it's showing as um, printer disconnected. So, we're going to connect up. It's going to take a second. So, hopefully, once it's uh, picked up the signal we should be able to fire away. Okay, so um, as you can see, that's a live feed of what we can see right now. So if I move the camera, it will also move the uh, image. Um, in terms of like focusing, I'm not gonna adjust it right now. Um, there is videos on there on how to do it. It's quite, as I said earlier, it's four screws, take that off. Be careful with the cabling, you don't want to damage anything. And much like a normal camera, you can twist the lens to focus. But like I say, I'm not gonna do that myself right now. So what you've got on the um, the display um, is uh, that it's 3D printed and it's connection. Um, so it's saying it's connected at the moment. Um, it gives a print time, so if you drop a file in there, um, it gives you uh, your layer heights and stuff like that, your fan, um, and whether you're filming or uh, taking photos. Um, so at, currently at the moment, let's turn it sideways so we can get a, I think you can do it this way. So that's a full screen, so you can see full screen. But if you wanna see the actual settings itself, um, click the back arrow so you've got the hot end temperature and the hot bed temperature currently we're at zero um, which is expected um, you can control your axes so um, obviously the printers on uh, the actual beagle cameras on there so I'm going to take care as you can see this is controlling so 0.1 1 and 10 and even 100 um, so you can make changes to the bed so as you can see as I'm um, pressing this, the command is being sent to the printer. So in terms of the actual connection of the Beagle camera, we are connected to the printer itself and the Wi-Fi. Um, you can move the uh, Z like so, and you can even do a hundred. So it's a lot quicker. Um, you can disable the steppers if you want to make any changes um, over here. Um, you can upload your G-code files, um, so if you save them to your computer, you can do it that way, or, or via this app um, here. Um, so, and then you've got all of your video list of what videos, time-lapse videos you've made on this here. Then you've got your settings. So as you will see, it's actually set up for Creality, um, but we're gonna set it up for our printer, which is an Anycubic Cobra Max. Um, and to do that is quite simple, really. Um, we're gonna print on, connect on here. So we are going, oh, there's a firmware upgrade. Let's just see if there's any. So right now I am due an upgrade. Um, it's quite possible this was in the factory and a new upgrade has come out. So I would say that it was important to do that. So we're gonna click upgrade now. As you can. So as you can hear, that it gives like a verbal um, description of what it's doing. So it's now upgrading. Um, so we'll wait for that while that upgrades. Um, shows you the process of how long it's gonna take, currently at 44%. 
it's always good to have the current firmware because there's probably some bugs in the previous one so the current version that I've got is 1.1.2 um, but the new version is 1.1.5 so um, that's good to have that okay so I've carried out the firmware update um, had to go away from the um, computer just to double check that I was doing it correct um, so I shut the um, the app down just to sort of log that um, the firmware had been agreed and changed so just literally re-log back in like before uh, click on firmware upgrade and now there's no information to say that I need to upgrade again and it now says that I'm version 1.1.5 which is good, which means that I have the latest firmware. Um, okay, so Wi-Fi settings, um, just saying that I'm connected. Normal recording, yes, the camera will record automatically when it powers up. Um, Time-lapse settings, so these are your sort of settings. So I'm going to go for, um, let's say, 24 on the time-lapse FPS. The maximum on this is uh, 25 anyway. And these are your coordinates and uh, settings for your printer itself. Uh, so what you want to do is just put in all of your information um, appropriate for this. Um, your Z lift distance and stuff like that. So you just want to make sure that all of your, like your track speed and your track length, your filling speed, it's all put into there. You can get that from your Cura settings. So quite simple really. Um, so we'll do that in a minute. Um, uh, the formatting of the card, so we don't need to do that. Uh, that's already ready to go. Time zone. So um, I myself, am, I'm in the UK, so um, I would select my Greenwich Mean Time. Um, show on video. Yes, we want to show the date, so that it's good to have that um, imprinted into the actual um, pictures and video. So that's good. Um, camera information just gives you a lot more details um, the IP addresses and stuff like that firmware upgrade we've already looked so this is what I was talking about earlier so the color night version and black and white um, the camera will show black and white video only um, that's great if um, you want a better resolution but like I say when I'm filming I tend to do it with the light on in the studio so it's not an issue um, so I'm going to swap that over um, share your share to your friends now you can share this with up to three different people so if they want to uh, watch your if you're sharing it with people on your YouTube channel or or in your Facebook groups you can show people the progress that you're doing at the moment so um, not sure if I'll probably use that um, and it says only the user has registered in Beagle can make the changes so um, we're gonna go back out of the settings so this is where we want to sort of make some changes now um, to the printer name. So quite simple really. This little pen on here, we're going to click on that. Uh, we're going to keep it as Beagle Camera. Oh, hold on one second. Printer name. Okay, well we're going to call it um, the Cobra Max. Um, but if you're going to be using it for multiple printers, um, keep it as Beagle Camera I would have thought. So Cobra Max and the brand is, so you've got like um, a list of different brands that are um, already pre-installed. So we're Enicubic um, and it is the Cobra Max, which is at the bottom. So the printer name, not sure why they need to call, call it that because the printer model is kind of the name. Um, so I'm going to keep it as Cobra Max, um, probably even change it back to... Um, Beagle camera later um, so it's already pre um, entered in my bed size so it's a 400 by 400 by 450 on the Z and the baud rate is um, 11,000 or 115200 3D printers list for compatibility please select the brand and model and then once you're happy click save so we've done that so we have now saved it specific to our printer so um, we're going to um, have a look at some of the other features. So like I say, you can see your current um, settings on there, um, your current temperatures for the hot end and bed, 
Um, you can control, as I said earlier, um, you can change it and control your Z and that's moving it for me. I can turn my fan on. You should be able to hear that kick in. Yep. And uh, next page you can upload G-code files which we'll do a bit later on in the video. And time-lapse video list. This is where you'll find out all of your uh, videos that you've done over the time. And then obviously your settings page. So you've got the main settings page which is this. But you've also got your um, subsetting page. This is for a more finer detail. So um, where you would make changes to your settings for Wi-Fi and record speeds and time-lapse settings. So what we're going to do is um, get some details off Cura and uh, make sure that we put in the right time-lapse settings. I'll do that in a second. Okay, so I've um, updated all of my um, settings for the time-lapse. So I'm going to choose MPEG, um, MJPEG, sorry, um, I find that a lot easier. My FPS is 24. Um, my minimum interval is 5 seconds, X and the Y and the Z distance, so my Z distance is 4, um, X and Y speed is 170, delay is 500 ms, um, so here this particular information I got from my Cura settings, so I would say that you do the same, my, tra my retraction length is 4 millimeters, uh, retraction speed is 4 mms, and extract uh, filling is 0.1 mil and filling speed is 60 mms it, so this is really dependent on your printer capability so once you've done that and you've changed that just click save and I've already done that so um, you can access this via your phone and um, PC or laptop so um, to do that um, you simply go to uh, the settings on here and your Wi-Fi settings, uh, let's go back, uh, right, camera information. So you go to the camera information and it gives you an IP address. Now that's the IP address of your camera. So you type that into your browser, so in my case it's that number there, um, and that would give you access to your camera. Um, so once you've got access, you can upload a file um, via the browser itself. Um, you can do it via your phone um, but unfortunately I don't sort of upload my g-codes to my phone I do it all via uh, the computer itself um, and that is it's simply it really um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to upload a, a file and uh, run a print and uh, see how it comes out okay head over to the uh, computer now so um as I said earlier in the video, um, this is my web browser, so simply just type in the IP address and um, this is what you see. This is the screen, uh, so this is your dashboard. Um, much like the app itself, it gives you access to the main screen, which you can um, enlarge, um, but we're going to go back. And then, so you've also got time-lapse videos. This is where all your videos, so a 2D uh, view of it and a 3D review of it. Um, your G-code reading and some settings. So this is where you would get all your information for your Beagle camera. Um, the language, time-lapse video. So this is the settings I showed you on the app itself. So you can um, you can actually update it on here. Your build rate, um, pretty standard. So um, my computer is or oh, sorry, my printer is Anycubic Cobra Max, and these are the dimensioned. Um, so we've asked it to have the time display, current night vision, yes. Password, um, if you want to change it, um, and the firmware update, which we did earlier on in the video. Um, and then once again, you can reset the camera, um, restart the camera here, and these are all the, this is all the information of the actual camera itself. So we're going to go back to the dashboard. Uh, like you say, I can now control this from um, my computer. So, as you can see, if I press the Z, um, this lifts up and down. Um, you can disable the steppers here. Um, gives you sort of all of your information, re retraction and stuff like that. Um, your hot end, hot end speed, so we can just slide this across. And that should kick in now, which it has. Um, let's turn that back off. Um, 
so you've got your temperature curve so these are your hot end and um, nozzle sorry and your bed and then your printer file so if you want to upload a file so what we're going to do is quickly update a file um, so we're literally just going to put in a um, single layer layer disc uh, let's see if we can find something a bit better so I'm going to go with the um, Flexi Factory uh, Yeti that I've noticed just come up on my timeline. Uh, I think that's going to be quite a cool one to um, time lapse. Um, so I'm just slicing it at the moment. Um, once that's sliced, we can drop it into the folder. Okay, so I've um, clicked on upload and put in the Yeti um, file, G code file, which has already been pre sliced on my Cura. Um, and that's now uploading onto the uh, Beagle camera program. So once that's completed, we can click start. Okay, as you'll see here, it's been uploaded. And so what we want to do now is, so what you'll see is some icons are here. So um, you've got download, if you want to re-download it, um, delete the file. Um, create a, a new um, load or if you want to send it to the printer which we w want to do right now so you load and print so we're going to click that as you can see over here the file is starting to print the temperature is rising so we're going to have a quick look at the temperature curve so as you can see here um, the current hot end temperature is 189 so I actually did pre um, heat that um, to change over the filament and the bed is currently at 60 degrees so these are the settings that we want it to be 190 and 65 um, this was done through my cura and and this just gives you sort of a um, current um, status so we can go back to um, the main page so this is your main page that you can see um, this will be the same on the app as well so when you leave the uh, printing studio you can keep an eye on it and uh, <clears throat> The time lapse video should start once uh, the printer starts. So, as you can see, it gives some information here. Um, and once again, you can open up to big screen, but I prefer to be able to see everything that I'm doing. So, up here, it just says printing 0%. As you can see, it's now making some movement. Okay, so it looks like the first layer is going down. Um, and we're going to come back to it in um, around about five to six hours when the print should be done. Um, and we'll see what the video looks like. Um, but that was the um, quick setup guide for the Beagle printer, or so the Beagle camera, sorry, um, on the Anycubic Cobra Max. Um, so, like I say, this, this particular um, screen here is just showing that you can see it on the computer itself. Um, but you can also see it on your um, app, which I can show you right now. <clears throat> so you've got your Minion app. So once again, um, you can do Remember Me, so you don't have to log in each time. I don't think it's an issue to have that on. So let's just set that up. Um, as you can see, it's sort of mirroring what we can see on there. Um, just tap the um, the screen and it will give you exactly what you can see here. So you can control it, you can watch it while you're um, carrying out your daily chores. Um, quite easy to set up, um, no more than 15 minutes I would say. Um, probably needs to do a firmware update if you haven't done one already. Um, and this just gives some information um, on where it is and if you want to pause the print or start again. What I do like about this is it actually gives you the amount of time left. So on the Any Cubic Cobra Max, it doesn't say that. It just says how much um, print time was carried out and what percentage. So I quite like this feature. Whether it's accurate, um, that will be uh, for me to find out soon, I guess. So what I might do is um, put a timer on for about seven hours and five minutes, which is what it's saying it should be. Um, and see if it's as accurate and if it is that kind of helps with sort of planning your next prints and stuff like that um, Yeah, so that's the uh, Beagle um, camera time-lapse camera um, Like I say, I'll leave a link in the description um, As to where you can purchase this but I know that you can now pick this up from Amazon um, 
So always take into consideration that Amazon does tend to be slightly more expensive than the website. And at the moment on the website, you can pick this up for, I believe you can get 20% off. So um, I ordered direct. I was kindly given a, a voucher by one of the guys that I'm following on Facebook. Um, he kindly shared a 50% off voucher. So I was really chuffed with that. So I appreciate that from him. Um, this I, that gave me the opportunity to purchase this. I had it planned to do so. Um, I've had some great reviews, and you know, on my first initial thoughts, I think it's great, um, very easy to use, and it's capable of taking on the Anycubic Cobra Max. Um, let's see what it looks like at the end, and uh, we'll show that at the end of the video. Take care, everyone, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I think I'm about 10 people away from that. Um, I am going to um, stick some freebies up to um, send out to win. Okay, so take care everyone. Phil from 3DB UK. Mm -hmm.